Titus 2 verse 12 informs us that grace trains us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age. In today's episode, we continue to look at how the grace of God has appeared to us through continuous sanctification. When we preach teach or witness to persons about God's amazing grace and they respond by asking us as so many do if our understanding of grace is that persons can live any way they want to live and still go to heaven we must answer them and say by no means or God forbid we must make them aware of what Paul wrote in Titus chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. We must explain to them what I just said, that the same grace that saves us initially continues to save us through the process of sanctification, and grace does so by teaching us or training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age. So if we are living lives that are not characterized by self-control, we can't blame grace for that. That means that either we have not experienced the grace of God, or we are repudiating the grace of God by the way we live. Now, someone may ask, how does grace train us? How does grace teach us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions? And this is where we're going to pitch our mental tent this morning. And I'm still going to ask us to be uh, alert in our thinking because, again, we have to do some hard work, some hard intellectual work. How does grace train or teach us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions? Is it that grace just miraculously and magically Deposit something in us that just makes us completely obedient for the rest of our lives. That's what some people are praying for, you know. That's what some of us are praying for. We are praying for something to happen from outside that is going to just floop and overnight we'll be changed and just become perfect. How do I know that some of us are praying for that? Because I used to pray that way. All my Christian life, I have struggled with pride. I can't tell you um, how many persons have come to me and said, Pastor Bartlett, you know what I love about you. You are so humble. And I say, you don't know Pastor Bartlett. I struggle with pride every day. And I have been struggling since 1983 when I got saved, and I'm still struggling. But for many years, I was praying and I was thinking that one day something was going to happen that would just remove pride from my life entirely. But I've come to learn that that is not how God operates. And I realize that until the trumpet sounds or the day I drop dead, well, I might not drop dead. I might not drop at all. I might be lying in bed and die. You don't have to drop to die. Why do we say you're going to drop dead? But un until the day I die or until the Lord comes, I'm going to be struggling with pride. And I've been trying to tell all of us that some of the things that we are struggling with, it is not going to go away. 
The same grace that saves us initially continues to save us daily, teaching us and training us. In the midst of our struggles, may we find hope in the eternal life and completeness that Christ offers us and that we will partake in it when he returns.